Kirby, you got jumped? Uh, honestly, I hate when people word it like that. I haven't worded it like that because that makes me look like a snake. Didn't you word it like that? Well, I mean, being jumped, these were good Muslims, let's be honest. And I'm not saying that they're not. I'm saying uh, being jumped means they get out. I've been jumped many times. People get out of a car and fuck you up, right? That's nothing of how this went down. This was a conversation across the street. And I, you know, I kind of escalated it, right? Well, they want an apology, these Muslims. These, and they're cokehead coke Muslims. Okay, so <laughs> the worst guy. How do you know they were Muslim? Because uh, they wanted the apology, right? They said apologize for what? For saying that they're goat fuckers or something? Yeah, they called me a fucking tra traitor to the tribe first. They're like, you Albanians are, you know, Albanians are Muslim. And they went all like, you know, guilt tripping me. And I was like, oh, I've had enough of this, bro. And the, the big fat one is like. So it was a 3v1. Well, two of them fought really. And the third guy was kind of just scaring the shit out of me. He's like, you know, right close to me. I kept thinking he's going to hit me. So, yeah. But you good? I, some people are wondering if you're trolling people. Like everything that you do seems like it's a performance art or something. Like I'm looking at you do interpretive dancing on Twitter. Like look at you. Look what at, is look interpretive dancing? I didn't take no dancing. What the bro, fuck? Like, like I don't know. You're doing like. I'm celebrating the. I'll tell you after, but big money. Big, big, big money? Big money. Good yeah. stuff, man. And you got a new girlfriend. I'm, I'm looking at your Twitter all day long. But yeah, there you go. You got. Oh, you're uh, late to all this? You just no, no, seen no, no, it? No, 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 no. I've, I've seen it, but I was, in, I was traveling. <laughs> so I was just like, stuff to catch up on. Yeah. And. I mean, the, the moral of the story is if they wanted a conversation and I called them at first. Okay. And then they're like, looked at each other like, bro, we're letting you talk it out. And I didn't say, I, I kind of like whispered. I didn't want to fight. I just want to go home and party and shit because uh, we were done filming. And then uh, when he took steps forward, I was like, oh, fuck. He's taking steps forward. Like, this, you know, it's over. Like, I have to hit him. So, you know, I was coked out. And <laughs> fucking got cracked the first one. No, I wasn't actually on drugs. It was just Adderall. And then, uh, and then I quickly regretted it because uh, these guys had MMA stances and shit. They looked like fucking legit. What's that place near Moxie's that's like a bar? Yeah. Yeah, right there, like literally in fucking public, and nobody even stopped to like do anything. I've never, seen pretended... I've never seen a fight out there. Yeah, and when I went home, I was like, part of me, the snake part of me, was like, yeah, I went to your scene, I was like, I got jumped. And he's like, no, you didn't. You instigated. And I was like, wait. Oh, fuck, dude, I'm the bad guy again. What the fuck? Oh, so I wanted to blame the Muslims so bad. They just wanted to talk to you, and then you called them faggots, and then they hit you. Yeah. Well, you hit first. I hit first. Yeah. So you didn't get jumped. What the fuck? Yeah. And, the, and because I hit first, they kind of jumped in as in, oh, he's fucking got a... They probably thought I was crazy. You know, like, he's got a knife or yeah, something. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah. And, and it's weird because, dude, most of the time, it just ends quick. This shit was not quick, bro. It felt like the first time I'm in trouble where I go, I want this to stop. Like, this guy's hitting like a truck. And, yeah, I'm just not used to people hitting like that. Because in 2016, when I, was in, when I was in the club, it would be rare that someone really has hands. You know, it would be very rare. So it they're would, the MMA train, all three of them. No, no. I just think they, like, I don't think they're fighters. I think they just know how to fight. He's the one, those kind of, like, aggressive types. Because I was thinking they were going to do these kind of punches and Overhand, fucking go in and... Hood shit. Yeah, but they were like actually were throwing doing... straights down the middle and shit. And you know when you're like twitchy because there's one to the side? Yeah. So you're like, oh, what's this one going to do? What's the skinny little fucking camel fucker going to do? And, uh, and yeah, <laughs> Yo, and, and I never ever... How long did it last? How long? It was like 10 seconds? 20 seconds? No, like 30 seconds, but it felt like an hour. I swear it felt so long and it never feels long because of adrenaline. But in my head, I was like... I never have people go down the middle and get me. You know how fucking long I am? Look how fucking long I am. Pause. It's fucking impossible to go down the middle and get me. So when he's fucking landing this, I'm like, whoa. And that wasn't the punch that fucking swelled me up. It was some fucking nasty overhand or some, I don't know what the fuck it was. But when it got me, I was like, fuck, I lost this. I lost. And you know what people said? Because I fucking dusted the first two in the first fucking five seconds. People are like, dude, you should tweet that as in you won because it's three and you got two of them. And no, it's war. It's not a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a fucking street. You can choke someone to death on the street. The point is I fucking lost. It's war. I should have been fucking baseball bad prepared and shit. That's the point. The point is if it's the street, if it's a 10-on-one and you lose, you lost. That's what my dad would say. 
My dad would be like, it, it's the street, bro. How the fuck are you asking for a one-on-one -on, -one on the street? But man, if it was a one-on-one, -on -one, I'd kill him. But I know which car, do well, which dealership he works at. Jenny says, tell Zerk I'm his number one fan, simp. Hashtag crisis king. Welcome to Florida. We don't use pillows to fight like Cali folk. You want to you wanna rebel? Oh, yeah, I'm ready.